if you've just got certified or you're about to take an exam this video could save you months of frustration three million that is the estimated number of cyber security certifications earned worldwide by professionals trying to break into this industry just from comtia isc2 and isaka alone we're talking about 2.5 million people add in all the other programs and you're looking at over 3 million certified professionals who have spent billions of dollars collectively to prove they know cyber security but here's the thing though most of these people are still stuck still sending out resumes that look exactly like everyone else's still getting rejected from jobs they are technically qualified for this is what nobody tells you after you pass that exam having a certification just puts you in line with everyone else it doesn't put you ahead so i'm going to show you exactly what to do in your first 90 days that actually separate you from the crowd before we dive in if you're serious about landing that first cyber security role hit subscribe button right now i drop videos like this every week with the real strategies that actually work and help you get ahead in your cyber security career this video is right around seven minutes or less because that's how long you can absorb strategic information before your brain goes back to following what everyone else is doing and trust me what everyone else is doing is not working so let's talk about what actually works most hiring managers in cyber security are not actually looking for cyber security experts they're looking for detectives who can handle ambiguity now what do i mean by that when a company gets breached right nobody walks in and says hey we've been hacked here's exactly what happened here are the affected systems and here is the playbook to fix it no instead someone notices their computer is running slow or customers start calling about weird charges or the website looks different the security team they get a mess of symptoms with no clear pattern the people who get hired are the ones who can take incomplete information or messed up scenarios like this once they do ask the right questions and then they piece together what actually happened that is not a technical skill that's an investigative mindset most certified people can tell you how to respond to a known attack but can you figure out what is happening when you don't even know you're being attacked yet see that's what companies actually need this completely changes how you should think about your first 90 days let's break it down your first 30 days should be spent learning to collect and analyze evidence not following tutorials okay pick any cyber security incident from the news doesn't matter how old then try to reverse engineer the timeline using only only public information okay when did it actually start what were the early warning signs how long did it go undetected do you understand i did this with the solar winds arc i spent you know three weeks piecing together the attack timeline from sec filings press releases and technical reports not to learn about supply chain attacks but to learn how to build a picture from fragment so this taught me something crucial most incidents are not discovered during the attack they are discovered months later when someone notices patterns in data that didn't make sense right at the time now the investigation skills you build doing this exercise are what hiring managers actually care about can you take incomplete information and build a coherent story something coherent right build a story around it can you spot patterns that don't belong can you ask questions that reveal what is really happening you know there's a difference between what is going on and what is happening these are detective skills not it skills and there are what separate people who get hired from people who stay certified but they are unemployed so if you're able to complete this process the next phase shouldn't be a problem this 31 to 60 are about developing pattern recognition under pressure this is the skill that turns junior security people into senior ones but it can be taught from a textbook okay so what you do is you start analyzing your own digital behavior look at your browser history your your email patterns your login times right map out normal baseline behavior now once you're done now try to spot anomalies when do you browse differently when do your email patterns change what does your digital behavior look like when you're stressed traveling or working on different projects everything i've said now sounds so simple 
or it's building the same pattern recognition skills that detect inside that threat. It detects compromised account and it detects subtle data exfiltration. And you can take it further, okay? Analyze public Wi-Fi networks around your area. I'm not saying you should go hack them. No, not to hack them, but to understand normal network behavior. What devices typically connect? What's a traffic pattern throughout the day? What would abnormal look like in this environment? You understand? See, companies need people who can look at network logs and say, hmm, something is off here. Even when they can't immediately explain what. See, that intuition comes from understanding what normal looks like in different contexts. Do you understand? Your final 30 days should focus on understanding the people you would actually work with. You know, I get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cybersecurity. It's tough, especially if you're like how I used to be, stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall. I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical and focused on real action. It's called the five day cybersecurity job challenge. This isn't just content you binge and forget. We're talking hands on learning, real skills and daily guidance. Two hours a day for five days. It's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen. Look, I love making these YouTube videos, but let's be honest. How many times have you watched a great video, thought I'm going to do something about that and then didn't. That is why this challenge is different. It's designed to be your support. Okay. We're not just learning. You're giving task, actionable steps every single day with live Q and A's where I personally help you avoid mistakes and learn the jobs that will change your life. Watching my videos is great, but if you want to go beyond watching, if you're ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year, come join the challenge. The link is in the description below. You can't miss it. Now, enjoy the rest of this video, but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step. Your final 30 days should focus on understanding the people you would actually work with. See, this is where most candidates completely miss the mark. They prepare to talk to hiring managers and they prepare to talk to technical teams, but cybersecurity professionals spend half their time working with people who see security as an obstacle to getting their job done. You know, people used to say opposite of getting things done fast is cybersecurity. So practice having conversations from other people's perspectives. For instance, role play, you know what they call role play? Role play being a salesperson who needs to access customer data quickly to close a deal or a developer who is frustrated that security requirements are slowing down a product launch. So understanding these perspectives is not about giving in to them. It's about finding solutions that protect the business while still enabling people to do their jobs effectively. You understand what I'm saying now? See, I remember one interview where they asked me how I would handle pushback from the marketing team about a new email security policy. You see, instead of talking about enforcement and policies, I talked about helping them understand how email security actually improves their deliverability rate, right? And protect their sender reputation. That answer got me the job because it showed that I understood that security is a collaborative function, not an enforcement function. The companies that are actually hiring, they want people who can implement security in a way that makes everyone's job easier, not harder. Now, let me tell you something most people miss. Hiring managers are not just evaluating your current skills. They're trying to predict how you would handle situations that don't exist yet, okay? Cybersecurity is about dealing with unknown unknowns, okay? I don't know if you've heard that before. Unknown unknowns, new attack techniques, emerging technologies, regulatory changes that don't exist today, but will exist next year or will happen next year. So during this 90 day journey, I encourage you to also document your thinking process, not just your technical work only, including your thinking process. So when you're learning about a new vulnerability, don't just understand how it works, understand why it matters now 
and what it suggests about future risk. For example, when ChatGPT started gaining popularity, right, the smartest cybersecurity people were not just thinking about AI safety. No, they were thinking about how AI would change social engineering. Yes, how it might be used to generate more convincing phishing emails. You know, before, phishing emails were known to have errors not anymore they were looking at how it could help attackers scale their operations see that kind of forward thinking is what separate people who get hired from people who get stuck in junior roles forever show this in your next interviews when they ask about a security trend don't just explain what it is explain what it might lead to and how organizations should start preparing now do you understand see the fact is most post certification advice focuses on building technical skills it's not wrong in itself trust me that's not wrong but it is incomplete okay the people getting hired fast they understand that cyber security is fundamentally about protecting business outcomes using technical means not the other way around okay this isn't about working harder either no it's about working with more context okay you understand not just how to configure a firewall but why that firewall configuration matters to the person who signs your paycheck the industry needs people who can think beyond technical problem to the business problem people can communicate across audiences people who can implement security in a way that enables business success rather than preventing it that's not something you learn from a certification exam but it is something you can develop intentionally in 90 days the next three months are going to pass whether you understand this hidden game or not and whether you do it or not the question is whether you spend them this next three months building skills that matter or just building skills that look good on paper which one would it be comment below and tell me what business context you want to understand better in cyber security and if this changed how you think about your post certification strategy Subscribe for more insight about what is really happening in cybersecurity hiring. And in my usual manner, guys, I hope I'm leaving you today better than I met you. I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.